Hey, good morning to you. Jesus is Lord. The word works and God's on the throne. The devil's defeated and we have a lot to shout about. I'm going to start a little series today about this person, man, that brought this child to Jesus that had a serious problem. Very, very serious problem. And he wanted God to supernaturally deliver this young boy. And he had brought him to the disciples. This is in Mark chapter 9. So let me read a couple of verses and we'll kind of set this thing up because we're going to go somewhere with this that's very deep. The, the father said, Master, I have brought unto thee my son, which hath a dumb spirit. And wheresoever he taketh him, he teareth them, and he cast him on the ground, he pineth away. And uh, Jesus said, after he had said, and I brought him to thy disciples that they should cast him out, and they could not. Didn't say they would not. I kind of believe they tried and just couldn't do it. They didn't have the power to do it. Jesus answered and said unto them, watch this, O faithless generation. Notice that what he was concerned about was their lack of faith. O faithless generation. How long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him to me. In other words, I'm going to take care of it. You've got to have an attitude as a believer. You are going to take care of it. Now, <clears throat> they brought him to him and when he saw him, the spirit tear him and threw him on the ground and all that kind of thing. And, and then he asked the father, how long has it been? And he said, since he was a child. Now, we don't know what the problem was, but it's a big, big problem. And the father centered in on the problem, not centered in on the deliverance. Now, watch this. Jesus, trying to get his attention, verse 23, said unto him, If thou canst believe, and I love this, all things are possible to him that believeth. If thou canst believe. Frank, if you, Frank, whatever your name is, if you can believe, Tay, Annette, Randy, it doesn't matter what it is. If you can believe, and we're not talking about what's going on in the world with everybody else. If you can believe, all things are possible to him, one individual, that believeth. So let me read it again. I'm going to have a little helper here. If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. Now watch verse 24. This is really important that you get this. And straightway the father of the tri tri child cried out and said, with tears, Lord, I believe, but watch, help thou my unbelief. I heard somebody preach this one time, and it sounded good at the time, but then I realized later it wasn't a true statement. It said, well, just fake it until you make it, or faith it and, uh, fake it until you can faith it. That's not true. Uh, I mean, if you're struggling with something, go to God and say, hey, I got a problem here. This father went to Jesus, I want to read it to you again, uh, had called to him, he, and the father said, Lord, yes, I believe, but help thy my unbelief. Or in other words, my unbelief is overriding my belief. Now we're going to talk about this in several days to come. Sometimes, especially when you're new in faith, you're going to get out there like Peter did and begin to sing, cry, Lord, save me, and Jesus did save him. You're going to make some mistakes trying to believe God. I mean, it's a little different, not hard, but it is different. Now, watch what this guy did. He didn't fake it until he could faith it. He said, Lord, I got a problem here. I know I got a problem. And he said, Lord, help thou my unbelief. <clears throat> All right. Now, watch. Let's go back to what Jesus said. He said, if thou canst believe. I'm not going to talk about that guy. I'm not going to talk about you. I'm not going to talk about pastor so-and-so or, <clears throat> you know, TV evangelist so-and-so. I'm going to talk about me. Jesus said this, if thou canst believe all things, all things are possible to him that believeth. Enough money to pay my bills. Enough healing power to get me healed from the top of my head to the very sole of my feet. All things are, with the, are within the realm of, a possibility if you believe. But now your believing is going to be uh, connected directly to how much words on the inside of you that will override all the junk that's on the outside. Notice 3 John verse 2. Beloved, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospers. Your soul is your mind, your will, and emotions. See, we have a soul 
our spirit man or the heart of man. It's where you get born again, but you have to renew the mind, spirit, soul, and body, so that it thinks in line with the word. Well, until you do that, you don't have enough belief to get the things done. And you look at something like, you know, somebody that's sick and they want you to pray the prayer of faith. And you look at them like, well, I don't know. Man, I, I don't know if I can do that because the sickness is bigger than the healing. Dodie Osteen, still alive, 30 years, I guess, after she was diagnosed with incurable cancer. She started planting the seed of the word till the word cancer became much smaller than with the stripes I was healed and she come out totally healed. What you're gonna have to do is plant the seed of the word of God so that there is no unbelief. If there's unbelief in there, get rid of it by planting the seed of the word until it departs and have Jesus look at you and say, Frank, all things are possible to him that believes. I believe in God for some things. I mean, you know, I'm talking about some material things and, and for the power to be in the meetings and so forth. I'm believing for that. And God said all things are possible to him that believes, but you're not going to believe it, Frank, unless you plant the seed of the word of God and quit looking at the circumstances. <laughs> I believe y'all get that. I'm going to be on it several days. So don't act like, well, you know, I'm going to fake this thing. No, no, no. Just plant the seed of the word of God till faith comes because faith does come by hearing the word of God. And then you'll have enough faith to get the job done. So, hey, until I'm with you tomorrow, remember, hey, all things are possible to you because you're a believer. And remember, Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works.